Welcome back to our channel, Fast Cabling. So have you ever wanted to set up an IP camera in a location with no easy access to network cable? Then in this video, we're diving into the world of long-range wireless network bridges to connect an IP camera. Whether you're monitoring a remote area or just avoiding the hassle of cables, this guy will show you how to achieve it effortlessly. So let's bridge the gap between your IP camera and seamless connectivity. And the need for a long-range solution in IP camera setup becomes crucial in scenarios where traditional wire setup face limitations. Traditional wire configuration may struggle to cover extensive distances, making it challenging to deploy cameras in expensive area. And long-range connectivity is essential for outdoor civilian, large properties or remote location where wiring might be impractical or cost prohibitive. And wireless solutions provide a flexible and efficient alternative, overcoming the constraint of traditional setup and ensuring reliable camera connectivity over extended distances. And choosing the right long-range wireless bridge equipment is crucial for ensuring optimal performance and reliable connectivity for IP cameras. When selecting wireless bridge devices, you should consider factors such as operating frequency to avoid interference, signal strength for stable connection over extended distances, and also compatibility with the specific IP camera model. And it is essential to choose wireless bridge that align with the unique requirement of the civilian environment. And as a recommendation, our wireless network bridge can provide a robust solution. You can use the wireless network bridge to pair in application at outdoor or harsh environment where are hard to access network and it can provide a maximum of 900 megabit per second transmission rate within three kilometers transmission range with no obstacles in between so next we are going to the demonstration board i'm going to show you how to use them so now we're in front of the demonstration board Mounting and aligning the wireless bridge is a crucial step to ensure a successful and reliable connection for long-range IP camera setup. And you should begin by securely mounting your wireless bridge devices at strategic location with a clear line of sight between them. And the line of sight is crucial for optimal signal strength and performance. And also consider potential obstacles like buildings or trees that could obstruct the signal and adjust the alignment accordingly. Regularly check and adjust the alignment with the wireless bridge devices, especially if there are changes in the surrounding environment. So next we are going to do the connection together. So now we are going to connect to our bullet camera using the wireless bridge in between. As you can see, we don't need any cables, just the bridges on both sides. First, I'm going to use a sharp edge cord to connect our router to the NVR. And the NVR is already connected to a monitor. Next, I'm going to use an Ethernet cable to connect our router with our wireless bridge. First, we'll need to power it up. This is a 12 volt DC power adapter. So plug it in to receive power and plug in the Ethernet cable from the router so we can have the data access. Over here, make sure you tilt it to the M mode. And this is the reset button. We're going to press this button to change the channel in order to configure our bridges. Which is very simple. All you need to do is match the number together. Now we are on channel 5 and I'm going to press the button to channel 6. 
So coming over on this side, for this bridge, we are going to do something different. Instead of using 12 volt DC, we are going to use a PoE technology to power up our bridge. This is the injector. We have the PoE port and the LAN port. Let's plug it into the PoE port and power up our wireless bridge. This LAN port, we are going to use it to plug in another short patch cord and connect with the bullet camera. This is the bullet camera and it's already powered up. So coming over here, we are going to plug in the Ethernet cable to our PoE port to power up our wireless bridge. We're going to do the same thing. We're going to press the reset button to change the channel to number six. And on this side, make sure you tilt it to the S mode. So it should be powering up. Let's go to the back and look at our channel. Now we are already on channel six. So let's wait for the video footage to show up on our monitor. And if not, just go to the channel and search for it. It will take a little bit of time and then we found the camera already. Let's plus it. So now it is on our monitor displaying and I'm going to wave my hand to show you this is absolutely a live video. So the whole connection is done now. And remember what I did, once the wireless bridge is configured, you should proceed to connect the IP camera to the wireless network and ensure that the camera's network setting, including the IP address, subnet mask, and gateways aligned with the configuration of the wireless bridge. And this information facilitates seamless communication between the IP cameras and the bridge, enabling the camera to transfer transmit data wirelessly over extended range. And congratulations, you've just successfully connected your IP camera using a long-range wireless network bridge and enjoy the freedom of civilian anywhere. And please don't forget to like, share, and subscribe our channel for more tech tutorial. Thank you very much for joining us today, and I'll see you in the next video.